Now, one of the assumed byproducts of this announcement is that it could derail or somehow short circuit the House investigations that are ongoing and then complicate any possible impeachment inquiries. But today, the House Oversight Committee released a statement reading in part, the Biden Justice Department is trying to stonewall congressional oversight. The committee will continue to follow the Biden family's money trail and interview witnesses. Here now is the chairman of that committee, James Comer. Uh, Congressman, David Weiss, I know you wanted to bring him up for questioning uh, at some point in the near future. How is that going to work now? And don't you foresee his saying uh, not now and not until the investigation is complete? Right. Well, this is another example of the Department of Justice stonewalling and obstructing our investigation. I've been complaining about this for months, but yet we continue to deliver evidence that shows of massive Biden wrongdoing and more evidence that shows Joe was right front and center in this from day one. What this does today, it protects David Weiss from coming in front of the committee, which is fine. This is an investigation about Joe Biden. I don't think we need any more evidence to show that the Department of Justice is trying to obstruct our investigation. I think Merrick Garland made that argument for us today. We're going to continue to follow the money. We're going to continue to interview witnesses that we know have firsthand knowledge of what exactly the Bidens were doing to receive the millions and millions of dollars from bad actors in bad countries around the world and what role Joe played in this scheme. And that's what's important to every American what role Joe played in this scheme, because we believe that we have a president of the United States that's compromised because of the millions and millions of dollars his family's taken in. Now, Congressman, um, Dana Bash over at CNN mentioned you today when discussing the Biden, Hunter Biden probe and the connections to Joe Biden himself. Watch. So far, there is no evidence. James Comer, the head of yeah. this committee, just told uh, my colleague Jake Tapper yesterday, pretty much admitted that they don't have evidence mm -hmm. to show that Joe Biden did anything wrong. <laughs> Congressman, your response to that? I pretty much didn't admit that. Uh, I pretty much admitted the evidence shows Joe Biden lied to the American people when he said he had never spoken to any of these people about uh, anything where Joe Biden was meeting with these people. We have emails, we have text messages, we have pictures, we have travel logs, we have travel records. We have sworn testimony from Devin Archer, who was front and center in a couple of these shell companies, that Joe Biden communicated with these people, in fact, communicated with every single person who wired to Biden millions and millions of dollars. He even had dinner on more than one occasion with these individuals, which we didn't know. So Joe Biden lied when he said his family never got money while he was vice president. He lied when he said his family never got money from China. And he lied when he said he never communicated with any of these crooks who were sending his family the millions and millions of dollars. So we've proven over and over again that Joe Biden lied. What I think the evidence shows is Joe Biden was front and center in this from day one. Devin Archer said what they were doing, because we want to know, what did they do to receive the millions and millions of dollars? Devin Archer said they were selling you, the brand, yeah, and the brand was Joe Biden. Con Congressman, will you commit tonight to calling David Weiss to testify before Congress, despite this appointment? Absolutely. Of course we will. We're not going to stop. This is just another day in the office for us uh, leading this investigation of Biden corruption. They have obstructed every step of the way. They've intimidated our witnesses. Look, when Devin Archer was set to come in on Monday morning, the DOJ sent him a letter Saturday and a letter again Sunday. That's never happened before. Never has the Department of Justice sent a letter on a weekend, and they send two on two separate days for the sole purpose of intimidating him. They have intimidated every one of our witnesses. The Biden legal team, Abby Lowell and company, they have more than crossed the line of witness intimidation. Uh, you saw what the, what the legal team did in the Delaware court, trying to intimidate another person to take something off the website. There's example after yeah, example they, of question, obstruction. But, Laura, yeah. we're going to continue to move forward think, in this investigation. The, yeah. The question is, what are they trying to hide and, you know, trying to... I, I uh, think everyone knows what this is. I mean, even if there's not a check that went to Joe Biden, whether expenses were covered for his home or he's just happy his son is getting all this money. I mean, we all kind of know what this is. But, Congressman, 
We oh. look forward to that testimony, and he's going to give you the Heisman. Not going to do it, but we're going to we're look forward to it anyway. Congressman, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.